to the honorees, rejoice. Rejoice that you are very special because you care, because you give back to society. I'm humbled, I am honored, I feel so blessed to have been nominated and awarded this, this position to be considered someone's hero. That's a big step. Those are big, some very big shoes. I'm so blessed. I'm so honored. If I can be an example and somewhat of a role model to some of the, the, the younger generations that are coming after me, uh, particularly young, young African-American men, then I, I'll, I'll definitely feel like I've earned the title of a hero. A sense of selflessness, a sense of community service, a sense of helping your fellow man, a love for all mankind would be my, uh, my advice to anyone that uh, is aspiring to be a hero. Every year we debate what events we're going to host and not host at the casino. We get a lot of requests, as you would imagine. This is one that's always non-negotiable. We're here to celebrate, I think, what is best, not just in these individuals, but in this community, what's best in all of us as Americans. And uh, again, it's our privilege to get to do so. I think the Cordish Company should be commended for keeping this event alive for the last five years. It is an important contribution to our community, to the African-American community in particular. It is important that all of these young people and for generations to come, that they can see role models like myself, like Lieutenant Governor and so many others. And it also shows that there is a major corporation out there that is committed to giving back to the community. It's humbling, I think, um, when I look at all the heroes that have preceded me and especially those behind me on this wall. I don't feel uh, as if I need to belong in these, uh, amongst these people. I think uh, my life has been simple. I've tried to do my best for myself and my family and my community. It's very humbling because I don't look at myself that way. So uh, it's interesting that someone would want to put hero on my name. I mean, David Cordes is a wonderful man. I've known him for many years. We came out here when he was showing me his vision and what he was planning to do and talking about the hotel that now I see is, is up. So I'm very pleased, but not surprised about what the Cordes would do and what they can do here and what they've been able to do across the country. These individuals are very committed to following in the footsteps of the great African-Americans before them in our nation. They embody leadership, vision, and a hope for the region that creates opportunities for companies and individuals, regardless of race, religion, or gender. They are our heroes. The Cordish Company has consistently shown uh, that they care about the community and they want to do things that uh, actually stand out and mean something. Uh, and so being able to recognize uh, and identify individuals within a, a, a black community is, 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 is big. But they're always in the community, they're giving back to homeless people, they're donating their time, they're donating clothes, they're donating food, they do it all. And it takes a lot of energy and a lot of time and a lot of resources to make that happen. And so they literally change the lives of everyone they come in contact with. And I'm just proud to be a partner with uh, the Cordish Company and those who are involved with them uh, just to make that a reality for everyone else. The Cordish Company and David Cordish genuinely cares about mankind. And the celebration of Black History Heroes during Black History Month is just another example of how he wants to illustrate his care and concern. No other casino in Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, or West Virginia celebrates black history and minority business the way Live Casino and Hotel does.